In the scene that is the unequal marriage, an old man and a young lady are giving their vows holding candles. In contrast to the rest of the dark portion, the girl wearing the white bridal dress is accentuated. Despite being youthful and beautiful, she does not show happiness. She appeared to have been crying all night the day before based on the red color engraved in her eyes. Her left hand, which is clutching the candle, is hanging vacantly. On a day some people call the happiest day of a girl's life. But because she is getting married to an agent properly high-ranking official who is almost as old as her grandfather, she looks so unhappy, melancholy and numb. The groom, with his wrinkled face and a look of disgust mixed with wonder about her look, is standing next to her in the scene. Surrounded by relatives, they are whom share the same status and have faithful expressions. While the priest is telling her her vows, she extends out her right arm to accept destiny, despite the fact that she obviously despises this marriage because she cannot escape her fate and the corrupt patriarchal society. And on the right side of the painting, we can see Bukhareb, a painter himself, standing with his arms crossed as he finds this marriage to be humorous and he is notoriously disgusted for the poor young lady, expressing his rage toward the incident as well as other unethical and harmful occurrences in society. To make the unequal marriage more shocking and realistic to the audience, Bukhareb painted every character in real man's eyes. He did this in effort to awaken the society's vulnerable social consciousness. But what do you think? Did he succeed?